Welcome to my channel, Pretty Inspired Decor. My name is Shelley, and this is part seven of my Christmas series for 2018, how we decorate our entire principal bedroom. Now, if you watch part six, you got to see how we decorated the Christmas tree, so I won't go through that in any detail, except for to say that there are over, you know, about a hundred or so ornaments on this tree and they're all glass and there's glass beads and there's glass candles and it's such a gorgeous tree. We also have a little train under the tree that you'll be able to see in just a moment. But although the tree is the star of the show, the other star of this show is certainly that gorgeous tapestry that we hang above our bed. We bought that tapestry a number of years ago and it's just so gorgeous and it fits this bedroom so beautifully. Of course it's Santa and he's clearly out in a snowstorm and he's laden with gifts and all the colors just fit so beautifully in this space. If you look beside that tapestry, you're gonna notice there's a little handmade wreath but a good friend of mine from out, out west, her name is Kelly, and she has uh, a, quite a business going on calligraphy. It's called Kelly Creates. She made that for me years and years and years ago, and I put it in a prominent space, so I always think of Kelly when I look at that. You'll notice we have two stockings on either side of the window, and that just makes you know, that sort of gives that nice finishing touch when you're looking at the tree from this side of the room. On the other side of the bed is a night table, and I keep that fairly simply decorated, just with a couple of candlesticks and a, a fun bell that a student gave me years ago, and a really fun little angel sitting on top of the lampshade. Is she gorgeous? She's handmade as well. And again, because I like symmetry in a room, if I'm going to have stockings on one window, I have to have two stockings on the next window too. So those stockings are just so me with the pearls on them. I mean, they look like Jester's stockings and I bought those in Stratford. Such a great place to shop for Christmas. Our dresser is also meant to be fun. So you'll notice on the dresser I have a Santa that my friend Sheila gave me and his legs stretch. I can make him as tall as I want and he fits in perfectly in that corner and he gets to look over my little beautiful niece Reese. Uh, that was probably her second Christmas. Such, ador such an adorable picture. And a little elf is also watching over her. I have a gorgeous love sign. You're going to see that love sign again when I decorate for Valentine's Day. Uh, that's a perfect thing. So I, I do like to buy things that I can use for more than one season. Obviously, it's not a lot at Christmas you can use for more than one season, but I'll be able to use that for Valentine's Day. And then you'll notice there's a beautiful book, a handmade book with the word Mary on it. My dad's wife, Pam, made that for me. She, she is so creative. I've said that before. It's absolutely stunning. And that book has pictures of my precious grandbabies in it. And I intend to fill it over the years. So I only have two grandbabies. And this is going to be Tannison's third uh, Christmas. So he only has a couple of pictures in it. And Ayla, of course, uh, is going to have her first Christmas this year. So her picture will go in it. Above that picture, or above that book, I'm sorry, you will see a beautiful Santa that my friend from out west named Val made me. She's quite a crafter. You know, I've got these very crafty friends and relatives. I'm not very crafty, but I, I try. And a couple of candles adorning him. Beside that, you'll notice, again, where how I decorate with books. So if Tennyson comes running in here in the morning and says, Good morning, Nana. I can, I can grab a book and say, let's read a book together. And above that, I have one of my Trisha Romance prints. And this print is called Christmas Elves. Harold gave me that print a number of years ago for Christmas. 
it's so perfect when you consider that we have run an elf theme in our family since the girls were born where they would receive something a little special every morning on their pillow at the end of the bed or at the kitchen table whether it was an ornament a pair of christmas socks a candy a christmas sweatshirt i used to make them christmas sweatshirts when they were little christmas pajamas whatever the case may be so that picture stays in this room all year because it reminds me of those fabulous times over here you will see what I do with this air de jay. I love to decorate with garland and you know if you can't put a Christmas tree up because A you don't have the time or B you don't have the space or C you're just not so inclined, get a piece of garland and you know whether it's expensive garland or inexpensive garland, uh, this is you know what I'll call mid-range gar garland, it's, it's pretty good, um, but you'll notice what I've done with it. I, you know, I used to, you know, I've, I've had red and green balls on Christmas trees for years. I don't use them anymore on Christmas trees because I have lots of other things, but I don't get rid of them. In this case, I've just added them to my garland. And I have some little pretty stockings on this garland. Everything on here again is made out of glass. Some little mittens on the garland, little snowmen, a great little, a couple of little elves, look how cute they are. And of course a Santa coming down the chimney. Like, th think about it, how, how much fun is that? You'll notice I've tried to give it some dimension as well by putting some ornaments hanging sort of at the back of the garland. This garland really has to be secured well to this brass unit otherwise of course nothing would stay so I can't get too back too far into it because this really is attached mostly to the front on this side of the garland you'll notice these are glass ornaments that spell Santa like how much fun is that when I found those ornaments I went oh, I have to have those and I knew exactly what I was going to do with it and where I would put them on these shelves, you'll notice again, just for fun, I just have a variety of glass ornaments, a whole host of them. This piece here is made out of, uh, I think it's made out of resin actually to make it look like wood, but isn't it gorgeous? Santa running around the Christmas tree. A couple of precious moments plates. When people tell you that you can't mix colors at Christmas, they are wrong. You'll notice those plates are white and there's pinks and you know some camely colors in there and some soft greens and blues. They look beautiful in here, they work. So you can make any color work wherever you want at Christmas. You'll notice again, I've put some placemats down. I got these at Pier 1. Again, just to keep the dusting to a minimal. You know, do I take this down and dust you know, every, every week or so? Yes, but I also want to be able to get him in here pretty much every day or so just to get, because it's all glass and you can see dust so easily. These carolers, these are actually made out of um, a paper. Like how gorgeous are they? Storing these is interesting every year. I have to make sure that they're stored very gently so that they don't get crushed. Underneath here, I have that great little joy sign, Santa's um, almost dancing whims whimsically. You know, my friend Melissa would love that because she loved to dance so much. She would just love that piece. I don't remember if she's ever commented on that piece, but it just reminded me of her at this moment because she loved to dance. And of course, there's this fun Santa. I received this gift from my dad and from Pam. It's just so pretty, such a pretty Santa. And it's part of this series here. Um, we got these in, in Banff, Alberta, both of them. Underneath here, you'll notice again, you'll notice I have a few other things in there, a, a snowman and a little dog and a, and a fun, another the fun little snowman. And at the very bottom of it all, if you can see it, there is two little mice sitting on a placemat and they're getting ready to go out tobogganing.
Having all of this visually to look at is, is so much fun. I have breakfast in bed almost every morning. And I just because I love it in here. And it's so pretty. I have to tell you the truth, I have breakfast in bed almost every morning because that's just the kind of girl I am. But you know, when I have my breakfast in bed here and I'm looking at all this gorgeous stuff, like how wonderful is this? It reminds me, you know, of the, first of all, of the work that we've put into decorating it, but more importantly, of all the memories of, you know, when we purchase things or when things are gifted to us. It, it's such a wonderful, wonderful thing to look at when you wake up in the morning and when you go to bed at night. And of course, if you are going to have a house that's fully decorated for Christmas and you're going to decorate your bedroom, you pretty much have to decorate the bed. So if you take a look at the bedding, yes, we even have Christmas bedding. This is an expensive Christmas bedding. I just put it over top of a, my standard white duvet, this thing, a little quilt, I guess, on it and with a couple of matching shams and this beautiful, beautiful pillow that's on the bed. And at the end of the bed, adorning this quilt um, rack, is a handmade blanket that my father made for me, again, a number of years ago. He used to weave, you know, it's just gorgeous. I have this one, my daughters each have one, the grandbabies each have one, and they're cherished uh, gifts uh, to all of us. We just love to have them. Over here, I know you in video six, you already took a look at you know, the glass scene or vignette that we have by the tree. And again, take a peek under the tree and we have that fun little train there. I won't turn it on today. If you really want to see it move, you'll have to look at video number six. And then here, on the way out the door, this is my husband's nightstand because it can't be by the bed, can't it? Because we have the big tree by the bed. If you want to know how he gets into that bed again, you'd have to look at video number six because I'm not going to embarrass him again. So again, you'll take a look at what we've done here. We've added this fun little snowman and imagine this, when Tenny comes, I hope it works. Oh, it does. Isn't that fun? Little Ayla's eyes will light up when she sees that the little snowman popping out of the hat. So much fun. So much fun. And again, to go with the theme of this room, these are two glass candlesticks that actually my son-in-law gave that to me a number of years ago. I was absolutely thrilled to receive them. I mean, I get so much of this stuff as gifts because people know that I love Christmas so much and Harold loves Christmas so much. So it was a wonderful gift um, from my son-in-law. And look at this fabulous little tin truck. Okay, this was a gift from my friend Val out west. How much fun is that? And she also made this little snowman sitting on top of a lamp. I need to remind you that I don't have regular bulbs in these lamps. I have LED bulbs in these lamps. They don't get hot, so I don't have to worry that you know these things that I have sitting on the lamps are going to somehow catch something on fire. So, so I hope you have enjoyed my seventh video, how we decorate our principal bedroom. If you have not already done so, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up because you know I like that. And if you are so inclined, share this with friends. This whole series is dedicated to my good friend, Melissa, who absolutely loves everything that we have in our Christmas home. She could hardly wait to come to our Christmas home every year. And she would often pop in as we were decorating. And I didn't let very many people in my world come into our home as we are decorating. There are a select few who get to come in and see the mess that we create to ultimately get to this. Because if you're a Christmas decorator, you know to get to a final point, you really have to create a bit of a mess. Anyway, until next time, bye-bye.